Oh, holy shit. I really didn't under- I never thought about this before. I don't know why, but this came into my head a few days ago, and I've just never really thought about this. I think I know the answer, but the answer is really unintuitive. Um, I think it's unintuitive, but I think the- I think I know the answer. Okay. Um. Let's say you have a room. And in this room, it's just a 10 by 10 by 10 room, okay? So you have a 10 by 10 by 10 room, right? Now, let's say in this room, um, I'm really bad at drawing. Here we go, okay. <laughs> let's say in this room, you have a, um, okay, they had some construction problems here. There we go. Let's say in this room, you had um, a plate at the bottom Okay, and this plate measured the weight in the room, okay? Let's say that you stuck a person in here. Let's say that you stuck a person in here, okay? Let's say this person weighs um, 100 pounds, all right? This person weighs 100 pounds, okay? As the person is standing here, this plate measures, because it measures all, everything in the room. Let's say that this plate measures 100 pounds. Would it be like 105 because of the air in the room? I don't know. We'll just say this plate is measuring. It's calibrated to measure 100 pounds worth of weight, okay? So let's say that, let's say that this guy has some form of flight. Let's say that it's a jet pack or wings. He grows some device that allows him to hover in a stationary position in the air. So now he starts to hover and he is no longer touching the ground, okay? Let's say that he's hovering in the air and he's no longer touching the ground, okay? So there's 10 feet or five feet between him and the ground, okay? If you were to take the, um, if you were to take the same measurement of this, of this plate and measure, you know, the, the weight in the room or whatever, would it still be 100 pounds? Why, okay, for people saying no, I think it's still 100 due to the force required to lift it up. Yeah, it seems like a really unintuitive answer, but it, it would be, wouldn't it, right? I don't remember why I thought of this. Oh, I thought of this because of, um, because I watched some Dragon Ball Z clip. If his method of flight is a downward pressure, yeah. So if you were to ever, if you were to try, so let's say that, um, let's say that there was a hallway, okay? Let's say that there was a hallway and you needed to cross this hallway, okay? Let's say this hallway is, is, is one mile long. It's a one mile long hallway. And if the hallway ever de detects a total um, weight, well, I'm, I'm saying weight, not mass, because I don't know if it would change. But let's say if there's a hallway ever detects a total, well, we'll say like a total mass of like 25 kg, right? That a thing will come down and crush everything. <laughs> if some guy were to think that he's clever because he's got some ability to fly, Right, he's got an, he's got a way to fly through magic or whatever other means, and he flies across this thing. And the, as soon as he starts to move over it, he will still be crushed, right? Because if he's flying in the air, the only way that he can displace himself from the ground is through some kind of force pushing down, right? Because he has to counteract gravity, right? And if he's not standing there, but with his feet applying pressure to the floor, then some other kind of energy has to be applying downward pressure to lift him up, right? So he would, so if he were to be, so if he were to float along through here through some kind of flying mechanism, he would still activate this plate and then he would get crushed, right? When a bird flies over you, do you feel that two or three pounds of pressure? Well, first of all, a bird doesn't fly directly over you, but um, but that's because the bird, that's because the bird relative to everything else, there's a massive sum, like there's a massive amount of things to disperse that press, pressure into, right? And the person, the person's flying the air, they're exiting force against the air, not the air directly. That would be some air pushing against the floor, but there would also be air pushing against the wall ceiling. The scale would not remain at 100 pounds. Unless he's flying by some real life. Well, I'm assuming he's flying by some real life mechanism. I shouldn't have said magic. The pressure exerted to keep him up would have to be enough to trigger the mechanism. Well, but in order to put a hundred pounds into the air, you would ha wouldn't you need enough to to move? Wouldn't you need enough force to move it up that would be proportional exactly to the to the down 
vector, <laughs> right? Like, Destiny, they can clearly fly in space. They don't fly by exerting force on other things. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't things fly in space via jet propulsion? Don't they blow shit up? Isn't that like exact? That's like definitely exerting force. Hold on. He's talking about Dragon Ball Z? Oh, okay. You're lucky this time. Destiny, the way they move in space is by throwing matter backwards. Yeah. Because isn't that... Isn't that, um... Oh, God, I don't fucking remember anything from high school. Isn't that how physics works if you want to, um... Oh, I guess that's what they say in Interstellar. If you want to get somewhere, you have to leave something behind. If you have an object... If you have an object at rate... At, at, at rest in, a, in space, in order to move it in one direction, you would have to blow something up, right? In, it, like, to, to propel it through fucking space? It's Newton's fifth law. Like, nothing, like, you, you, like, nothing in space can just go from non-moving to moving without exerting, like, an equal force the other way, right? That it has to happen. Like, you can't just have something in space and, like, just start moving in one direction without exerting, like, an equal force in the other direction, right? Yes, because each reaction has an equal and opposite reaction. Yeah, right, because everything is conserved. That is specifically conservation of momentum. Yeah, okay. All right, gotcha. Okay, sick. All right, that's all I wanted. All right, I'm done. We'll go to sleep now. <laughs>